Hello, this is Colonel Candlewax of the 7th Sky Corps in the, tame, in the server of Tame Water. Today it is December 22nd, 2020, as of recording this. And I am going to be leaving this video to show people basic of all the courses that I have, which I will probably have a link in the description, of, um, of all of my courses, but I'm going to show you just the main ones that I use for my classes. It'll show you all of your controls, and I had to learn a lot of this stuff on my own, so I hope it will help you. So, something I would like to start off with is, in some of the older tutorials that I've looked at, they'll say, your back needs to be turned. Yes, that is correct. However, your head, the back of your head, like your camera, right here, if you're looking down, technically your back is to it, but you will not get a reset. Um, what I tend to do is, um, when it comes down to it, you see at the bottom of my screen, I have three jumps. Technically, you have four if you include the reset. So, how I do things, you know, just scaling up a regular wall, it just looks like this. Um, I've done a couple things there. Um, I used right click to latch, left click to jump, and I held crouch the entire time. Your button may be a little bit different, but eh. So, <clears throat> when you are going up a regular wall, you want your camera to be about, you want to flick. I do have a bit of lag. Um, so. You know, you want your camera to be against the wall, and then you'll go up. Now for here, um, there's not much to walls going up. You flick to get your, to get, you know, the back of your head, which is what the camera follows, to, against the wall. You look up. Up. You look up so that you get um, more height, and to show you why that works, <clears throat> no matter where you go, no matter where you're facing, you know, the reset, as you can tell, um, you know, just sends you flying in that direction. So. That's why doing this just gives you a little bit of extra height, and you do a lot better. Now I do a latch, which is again, right click, and as you can see I'm not pressing anything. It allows me to look around, get a good idea of what's going on. Um, this server uses simple third person, so I have a bind that just allows me to switch between first and third, really handy. Uh, it's best to do this in third person, in my experience, and there are a couple way things you actually need to use first person on, but we'll get to that in later. So here's a wall run, just basic, you know, run across. This course has a nick in it where sometimes you will lose all momentum as Climb Swept tries to uh, stop you trying to do what it wants to do. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to look at a wall about 45 degrees and run at it and just kind of go. Um, 
resets are a bit easier, and I'll show you why. Yep, perfect example of my momentum being stopped dead in its tracks. It's just a problem with climb swept sometimes on this particular course. So, let me try that again. When it comes down to it, I might be a little bit fast when it comes down to resets, but I hope my explanation helps a little. Um, so let's try this again. Oh. It is very early in the morning, and I haven't done this in a while. The Christmas season is very... going on. Man. Okay. I chose this time of day because there shouldn't be any lag. There's like one other person on. Okay. Where is my mouse going? Alright, cut this. when I broke out of what Climb Slope was trying to do. It goes nice and smooth like that. Now this is a wall transfer from one wall to the next. Pretty easy, pretty simple. It's just taking what you learned from this and um, just kind of going to another wall. So it will look like this. And ta -da. Now, personally, if you land right here, I don't mind if you're trying to do it, as long as you land near the square, especially if you're new. This is a really good course to teach you the absolute basics. Now, this right here is what I call a one block lip. Very basic. Um, really good to get in the hang of it. <clears throat> the one thing, the one thing that um, you don't want to do is get frustrated. Um, that will be your biggest hindrance, is getting frustrated and getting mad. Um, because these can get a little hard. I've been doing this since January 5th of 2020 with very few breaks in between. So I'll make this look very easy. However, I'll show you the S method, which is the method that I know that goes to at least two block lips, which is usually good enough in most maps. There are a lot harder courses, however, that have three, four plus block lips, and that's something I've never learned, never needed to. Alright, so normally, when you're going up, you know, you're just going to bomb your player model against the lip. However, if you just press S and go up, Ta -da. So, um, to those that may not understand how that worked, you can actually move yourself in the air. Um, for instance, I'm going to go on my Jedi so I can use for sleep. Just a demonstration of how this works. If you are, if you have no idea how. Hey, this works. Momentum wise and stuff. This is an old game, there's still new players. So 
this can be this is useful just about any time. So when you're in the air, if you press S, you stop your momentum. But if you're just going straight up, you instead move backwards ever so slightly. So really handy day to do that. So what you want to do here is the, the easiest way to get above any ledge is, is to when you're um, I measure things with head torso so about to where you know your head is above almost above the um, lip is when you want to start pressing W and like if it gets past your belly button on your player model you can right click and uh, hold down right click and you latch and that's it for this course it's very simple um, I'll show you the intended length of how this goes so more and I will say in at least tame water I don't know about anywhere else but there's something where it's called thinking like an arc I don't like this phrase you're not thinking like an arc you are thinking like water and water takes a path of least resistance so if you thought me going through it normally was fast Watch as I think like water. But, uh oh. Okay, try that again. As the game side freeze on. teach you about strafing. So I'll sprint to it, latch on, and since you are looking almost directly at that top edge, you want you to look at the edge of where you're grappled. Sometimes you might be grappled on the bottom edge. So it just depends on which way you're closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press D and scoot. Now if I press shift, I go a bit faster. And this is what it looks like. So right click when your latch just drops you and to the next checkpoint. This is a vertical wall transfer. Let me fix how this simple thin prison works because sometimes I have a hard time seeing where I'm aiming. So 
simple. It's like the one before, just up. This is another wall run. Alright, this is just um, essentially a ladder with grapples. So, you latch onto here, go up, latch onto here, W, jump or whatever your forward button is and jump and jump I'm actually glad I have this little thing to the side of me and then you just go up to the next checkpoint this is a one block lift so if I said two block lift I can't remember but so this ignore this entirely we do not need this the big thing that this is supposed to teach you is the e-jump. So, if you have just normal speed, nothing extra, um, what an e-jump does is it turns your normal jump into a flying leap. And you press E. That's why it's called an e-jump. And from here, you will, log if you jump at the very end of this ledge, you'll just barely make it to that other platform and you look like this. And see, didn't even bother with that. I didn't even bonk it. So, you know, that's how that works. Now here, you can do this a couple ways. You can fly and leap over, that's a lot harder. Or you can do it the easier way by Walk, crouch, ease yourself back, hold right click, and latch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to aim myself, fix my thing here, because I like, this is how, whenever I talk to somebody, I always have my collision off usually. So when I say, so to those that I have told, one eighth to one quarter, this is what it looks like. So, <clears throat> what, what you want to do here is you see your jump bar you want to aim you want to use your jump bar to measure the top eighth to the top quarter of that blue box and then you're going to want to press crouch, sprint W, or forward jump press E in the middle of that jump this is using your whole hand if you're not used to doing this it takes practice even I had trouble with this in the beginning. And it'll look like this. And this is one of the few times I will tell you to left click for dear life because I tend to think of this as like a rhythm game. And much like the uh, novice course, this can be cheesed, essentially. You can think like water. So up. Up. Pretty quick, you know. Up. See, couldn't see. That's why I did that earlier. Okay. Up. There we go. Match. Up, 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 up. Uh, latched. <laughs> that was weird. And then up here. And down we go. Now, here's another method of getting up here that, I, that one of my artists taught me. One of my students taught me. Okay, if I can do it correctly. are weird. So it's I'm not used I'm used to just kinda of like there we go. And then up we go. And then here's some fun. 
And that's all the cheese you can do on this course. Alright, now. For the last one. This is the hardest course. This is when there's not much else I can teach after this. Um, I can teach a little bit more, but this is like all you really need to know. This is the senior course of the 212 arts. And while I was the art, while I while I am the ARF, um, currently, um, I always had my ARFs go to this before they could become ARCs because of how much they need to know. And this teaches you everything you need to know. So here, what you want to do, you start here. And there's a couple ways to do this. Now. If you have, if, you, if by this point you have gotten a nice rhythm, you know, da 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 bing, da 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 bing, you know, you want to go instead, da 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 bing, just, just a slight hair longer to reset. Um, I don't know if I've said this before, but I consider, um, Climb Swap to be its own rhythm game because of just how it works and if you really pay attention there's always a beat based on what you do. So here you want to reset slower and there's another method for props but I'll show you after this so what you just want to do is you just want to go I treat it like an old wall. Um, so when it comes down to just kind of these, you don't have to treat it like anything special. Like you might have seen in other ones. I learned this on my own. Um, I treated this like an old wall. I found a lot of slopes kind of do that. Any anything that is like a harsh one, you might have to do a little bit, but not nearly as much as you think. So, that's getting up here. Now let's slide back down. So, the other way of getting up here, very simple, your latch. This only works on prop objects. As I have tested numerous times, you do not want to rely on this method unless it's on props. something I found out a while back. And then from here, you just jump all the way down here. <clears throat> now, I will show you cheese at the same time, because this is my hardest course. I do not practice it at this long as often as I should have, because this is the hardest part, is these really long poles. But if you can do these, you can do just about anything else. So, this is not any harder. I say as I do that. So okay. It's just uh, I'm having issues with the game. I'll just need to restart my computer, but I I need to do this before I forget. Again. I might cut that out, I'm not sure. So, there we go, that's better. So, what you want to do here, when you're up here, this is a little checkpoint, so don't worry. So what you want to do here is you just want to hit, and there you go. And, wee! Down we go. Alright, next up, <clears throat> I go into first person for this, for a very particular reason of being able to see this. You want the black side here which is essentially the bottom. You want as much of that in your vision as possible with a sliver of the lit side here. So, what 
what you're going to do here is you're going to jump, crouch jump, left click, right click. I hold right click so that it's just a lot easier. <clears throat> now what I did here was I looked at an angle because that allowed me to push myself away from the ledge. This is like not impossible levels, but because I push away from the ledge, it's possible. It's using A and D. Really easy. You just look a little bit to the right and press D, or you look a little bit to the left and press A. <laughs> That's very important if you do something like this, because if you're, it, it's, it's like bonking your head on a lip if you do not, if you're not far enough away. So from here, I'm going to crouch, jump up just a little bit. Now I am latched onto the top. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do. Crouch, sprint, move forward, space, and right click. And I'm going to do the same thing like I did the first time, and up we go. <clears throat> so I matched onto the top, and then I hopped right on up. So, what, what's going to happen here is I'm going to show you cheese, but you can, but these are slightly slanted walls. So you go from here to there to there. Um, but I'm just going to show you the cheese as this is the only like way you can make this any faster. So <clears throat> you just get on top, go across, you get on top of this, you get on top of this, and jump right on down. Now this, you might be wondering in this moment, well, how would you get on that? Well, you got on that one up there, so it shouldn't be any harder, right? And... Oh. Sometimes you just gotta use first person. You just kind of hop on over here. You're supposed to be able to crouch under that. I'm just going to use this wall. Um, Up and across and onto this. Now this is the hardest part as for me I have not been able to recreate a way that doesn't require precision on the first very first jump. Because if you move too far to the left, you don't reset. You move too far to the right, you don't reset. And so you want to be near the very middle. And and just it's really hard to do, but once you get the idea oh, I am somehow saving it. And I hit my mic and fell. But as you can see, I got I actually got really lucky. That was really cool though. I haven't been able to save it like that before. Um, but as you can tell, uh, you know, this is really hard. It took me I don't know, a few months to figure out the correct way to do it. And you know, even though I looked like I made it look easy, even done the thing I said I was not going to do, and still getting it like that, um, you know, it's still very, very hard. And you gotta get up to that blue square to end it. And you can go from one to the other, but it's not really necessary. Using one pole is good enough. Using two, I have a hard time transferring between the two. Um, but yeah, that's it for the courses. So, <clears throat> I hope this helps you. I hope this helps 
as a teaching tool. And I hope that you have fun with Climb Slap. something out, don't worry. I was just being silly and I'm tired. Alright. Until next we meet. I hope this helps you in the future. <laughs>